let's discuss a problem best time to buy and sell stock so in this problem we have given an array of stock prices so we have given an array of stock prices and uh, in this array the ith element represent the stock price on ith day this element represent the stock price on first day this element represent the stock price on second day this element represent the stock price on third day and so on so in this problem we are allowed only to complete at most one transaction buy one sell one share of the stock so we have to design an algorithm to find the maximum profit and definitely we cannot sell a stock before we buy one so let's uh, see a few examples so in the first example given an array of stock prices and we have uh, we are only allowed to do at most one transaction and to get the maximum profit definitely we have to buy a share at lower price and sell at higher price so on second day the stock price is one so we buy this stock at price one and we sell on fifth day at uh, so uh, uh, at a price of rupees six so we get uh, the profit which is five so five is the output so we get uh, the maximum profit when we buy a share on second day and sell the share on fifth day so now let's uh, see the second example in this uh, example the stock prices are in descending order so definitely we cannot buy a share uh, so we cannot uh, sell a share at higher price so let's say if you buy at uh, at price at rupees 7 so i mean in this array you won't find a price which is higher than 7 similarly for 6 4 3 1 so that's why the output is 0 so this is the problem statement and now let's discuss multiple approaches to solve this problem let's start with the easiest approach and then we will improve our solution and solve this problem optimally so the easiest approach is to run two for loops using outer loop we we are buying the stock and using this inner loop we are checking the opportunity to sell a stock on a profit and whenever we sell a stock we update the max profit if it is applicable so to uh, before selling a stock we have to buy a stock so using outer loop so let, let's assume we bought a stock at this price then to get the maximum profit definitely we sell this stock at a higher price so this is what uh, we are doing in this code so uh, we uh, buy a stock at this price and then from inner loop we start from uh, from from the next day and we check is any uh, is this price greater than uh, the price uh, i have bought a share is one is greater than seven no is five is greater than seven no is three is greater than seven no is six is greater than seven no is four is greater than seven no so we can't uh, so uh, we can't make a max profit so in next iteration let's buy a stock at this price and then we uh, we check is this price greater than one yes so we can sell uh, this stock at this price so the max profit we get here is four so uh, we have declared one variable max profit which is initialized with zero and whenever we sell a stock we check the uh, value current value of max profit and the price at which we sell this stock for example now uh, we bought this stock at this price and we sell a stock at this price so we get a profit four so zero and four we choose max between zero and four so now the max profit is four now we move to next day where we uh, so this price is also greater than one so we can sell a stock at this price but this time we get the maximum profit two so we get the profit two so here the current value of max profit is 2 and after selling this stock at this price we get 2 so out of these two the max profit is 4 so it is remain as it is now 6 is also greater than 1 so we can sell this stock at this price and when we sell this stock at this price so 6 minus 1 5 so the current value of max profit is 5 
and the new profit we get when uh, get when we sell this stock at this price is five so out of these two the max profit is five so we update the new value which is five similarly we can do uh, the transaction at this price as well but the max pro uh, profit we get here is three so five remain as it is so in next iteration we buy a stock at this price and then again we check uh, the price which is higher than five and the price which is higher than five is six and uh, when we sell a stock at this price we get the profit one so we already get the max profit five so we discard this value again when we buy a stock so we check all the combination of buying and selling a stock and we pick the max profit and we return the max profit so max profit is five so uh, this is the easiest approach to solve this problem and the time complexity of this uh, approach is o n square and its space complexity is big o of n so when you solve this problem using this approach and submit your code your code will be submitted but let's try to think how we can optimize our approach so if i run this code you can check let me run it so if i run this code it will be uh, it will it will it will uh, it will pass the test case and if i submit it it will be submitted but uh, let's optimize uh, this code and solve this problem in a single pass so let's improve our solution so in this problem we can do at most one transaction so instead of checking all the transaction of buying and selling a stock to get max profit what we can do is is to calculate the max difference between two array elements so the mean so the minimum element and the maximum element such that the larger element appears after the smaller element so in this way uh, we can easily calculate the max profit uh, of buying a stock at lower price and selling at higher price so so let's see uh, let's visualize this approach so what we can do is uh, we can iterate the stock prices and uh, we need two variables the minimum the mean and the max profit so the max profit we keep track of the max profit and mean we keep uh, track of the minimum element so uh, initially we initialize with the integer max value so we run a loop and uh, the first price is seven so uh, it is smaller than the mean element so we assign here a seven and the initial value of max profit is zero and zero and the current price so the current price is seven and the minimum uh, price found so far is also seven so it is zero so max profit is zero now in next iteration when we pick one so one is uh, less than seven so the new value of minimum is one and in max profit zero and uh, the current price is uh, one and uh, the minimum is also one zero so it is zero in next iteration we pick five so the well uh, the value of mean remain as it is and then here uh, five minus one four so the max profit found so far is four by buying a stock on second day and selling a stock at third day then uh, in next iteration we pick this price again the minimum remain as it is and when we sell a stock at this price we get the profit two and out of four and two so four remain as it is so again uh, in this day uh, the price is six so the value of mean remain as it is as six is greater than one and here uh, we so the max profit found so far is four and when we sell a stock at this price so we get the profit five and out of these two the max profit is five similarly on this day uh, the price is 4 and the minimum remain as it is and we sell uh, a stock at this price to get a profit 3 so out of 5 and 3 5 remain as it is so after this iteration we uh, return the max profit which is 5 so 
we can do at most one uh, transaction uh, so as per the problem statement we can do at most one transaction so the uh, so this approach to find the maximum difference between two array elements such that the larger element appears after the smallest smaller element uh, will help us to solve this problem in a in a single pass so uh, this is how we can uh, solve this problem optimally so let's uh, run this code so if i run this code and uh, let, let me run it and submit it so i have already checked this code now it is accepted now let's talk about its time and space complexity so its time complexity is big o of n and its space complexity is uh, big o of one so that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video and please share and like this video